1.1 Introduction There are a number of problems and issues in the society that can be directly or indirectly related to human behavior, be it aggressive behavior in terms of road rage, bullying or even cyberbullying, overindulgence in social networking, lack of effective communication and interpersonal relationship, suicidal ideation and so on. Such problems and issues need to be researched further in order to not only develop better understanding about them including factors leading to them and to develop suitable intervention strategies to deal with them effectively. Research is an important aspect of any subject area. In psychology as well, research is carried out in order to further broaden the scope and knowledge area of the subject. In the present course, we will mainly focus on psychological... The very first unit of this course is titled, Introduction to Research in Psychology and this unit will lay foundation to the subsequent units in which we will further discuss about various aspects of psychological research. In this unit, we will define psychological research and discuss its goals and principles. Further, the ethical issues in psychological research will also be described. The deductive and inductive methods will then be dealt with in detail. Problem and hypotheses are important components of psychological research and these will also be elucidated. Besides, descriptive research, hypothesis testing, one-tailed, two-tailed tests and errors in hypothesis testing will also be explained. Lastly, in this unit we will discuss constructs, variables and operational definition of variables. 1.2 Definition, Goals and Principles of Psychological Research Before we go on to discuss various aspects of psychological research, it is important that we define research. Research in simple terms can be explained as adding to the existing fund of knowledge. The term research is derived from the French word, recherche, which means to travel through or survey. Research can be described as an enquiry that is not only critical but complex as well. Research can also be described as an analysis and recording of controlled observation that is objective and systematic in nature. And this analysis and recording can result in generalizations and also development of theories. Some of the definitions of research are given as follows. Curlinger, 1995, page 10 define scientific research as a systematic, controlled, empirical and critical investigation of natural phenomenon guided by theory and hypotheses about the presumed relations among such phenomena. Research, in simple terms, can be defined as a systematic investigation to find answers to a problem, Burns, 2000. Best and Kahn, 1999, have defined research as systematic and objective analysis and recording of controlled observation that may lead to the development of generalization, principles or theories, resulting in prediction and possibly ultimate control of events. Some of the key points in the above given definitions of research are as follows. 1. It is systematic in nature. Psychological research is systematic as well as scientific in nature and follows a pattern in scientific process. It is important that research is carried out in systematic and scientific manner so as to ensure that the outcome of the research can be relied on and the researchers have confidence in the outcome of the research. 2. It is objective. Objectivity is a significant characteristics of any research and care needs to be taken that no subjectivity creeps in so that the internal validity of the research is maintained. Thus, the subjective beliefs of the researcher should not interfere in the research process or the outcome, rather the focus needs to be on reality that is objective in nature. 19. Psychological research 3. It seeks answers to certain problem. Psychological research is carried out with an objective that needs to be clear and specific. There could be certain problems and issues that the researchers may come across and may seek answers to. 4. With the help of research, generalizations can be made and theory and principles can also be developed. Based on the research findings generalizations can be made. Further, based on the findings, theory and principles can also be developed. 1.2.1 Goals of Psychological Research The main goal of psychological research is to comprehend human and animal behavior. And the more the researchers are able to decipher human behavior, the more it will benefit the society in general and individuals in specific. For example, developing a better understanding about aggressive behavior amongst youth can help develop suitable intervention. Let us now look at certain specific goals of psychological research that are discussed as follows. 1. Description. This is one of the prominent goals of research that involves description of behavior in a systematic manner. Description involves information about what exactly is happening in a situation, where and with whom is it happening. In description a certain phenomenon, event or issue is identified and reported. For example, safety behavior of employees can be observed and described. 2. Explanation. This mainly involves explaining why a certain behavior, phenomenon is taking place. For example, if employees in an organization are not using safety devices, then explanation can be generated as to why they are doing so. 3. Prediction. Yet another goal of psychological research is prediction. Based on research certain predictions can be made about the behavior under study. In prediction, the factors that may be correlated or related with certain behavior or phenomenon are identified. 
For example, predictions are made with regard to why employees are not using safety devices based on previous research and information. 4. Control. Control is also an objective of research which involves bringing about a change in the behavior with the help of suitable intervention strategies. For example, suitable intervention strategies can be developed to promote use of safety devices amongst the employees. 5. Application. Inferences can be drawn based on the results obtained by carrying out the research and these can then be applied for problem solving as well as decision making. 1.2.2 Principles of Psychological Research A good psychological research is systematic and scientific in nature. It also needs to be valid as well as verifiable and replicable. A good psychological research needs to be logical as well and it should be possible to make generalizations or develop theories and principles based on the research outcomes. Thus, a research. 20. Research in psychology could be carried out to systematically and scientifically test certain hypotheses, s, and theories and this is done by controlling the influence of extraneous or confounding variables. An adequate psychological research needs to have the following characteristics. The purpose and objectives of the research needs to be stated in clear and specific manner. It is important that the purpose and the objectives of the research are stated clearly and specifically, as the choice of research design and other aspects of the research will depend on the objectives of the research. In order to ensure objectivity, the research procedure needs to be planned adequately. Any research needs to be adequately planned. Even while building a house, a plan is to be drawn that is followed. In a similar manner while carrying out research as well, a plan is to be drawn. That is the reason why often a research proposal or synopsis is created that provides details about the problem, objectives, hypothesis, s, sample, research design, tools for data collection and data analysis. Research design needs to be appropriately selected based on the purpose and objectives of the research. Research design provides a structure to the research and it is important to adequately select a research design based on the statement of problem stated in the research. Suitable selection of research designs can ensure high internal validity. Appropriate tools need to be used for data analysis. Data analysis is an equally important aspect of a psychological research and again based on the purpose and objectives of the research suitable techniques of data analysis need to be employed. 1.2.2.1 STEPS in research process There are various steps that are involved in a research process. These are described as follows. Step 1 Research idea needs to be developed. The very first step in research process is developing the research idea. Thus, an issue or problem needs to be identified that can be subjected to research. One can obtain research ideas by observing one's surrounding or even through interaction with certain experts in the subject area. Though, it is important to go through existing review or studies that have been carried out on the issue or problem that the researcher is interested in studying. And this can be done by referring to articles, research papers, books etc. on the subject area. Reviewing literature is important in order to avoid any duplication of the research, as it is possible that the issue or problem has been well researched and need not be subjected to further investigation. Though based on the review obtained, further research on the same problem or issue can be carried out that will provide insight into new dimensions regarding the problem or issue. Review of literature also helps in selecting suitable design for one's research and will also provide latest information and developments in the area that one is interested in researching. For example, a researcher wants to study caregivers of chronically ill patients, he, she may first go through the review of literature, identify relevant variables and then may come up with a topic for 21. Psychological research instance, resilience, psychological well-being, and adjustment amongst caregivers of chronically ill patients. Step 2 Stating the problem and formulating the hypothesis, s. Once the research idea is identified and the researcher has fair idea about the existing review of literature, a statement of problem can be stated and hypotheses can be formulated. Based on the example that was discussed under step 1, the statement of problem could be to study the resilience, psychological well-being and adjustment amongst caregivers of chronically ill patients. There could also be certain objectives based on the problem, for instance, to study relationship between resilience and psychological well-being of caregivers of chronically ill patients, or to study the effect of gender on resilience, psychological well-being and adjustment of caregivers of chronically ill patients. Based on the statement of problem, hypothesis, S, can also be formulated. These are tentative statements that are tested with the help of scientific research. For instance, there will be significant correlation between resilience and psychological well-being of caregivers of chronically ill patients. Hypothesis could also be, gender difference will exist with regard to resilience of the caregivers of chronically ill patients. Both the hypotheses are alternative hypothesis. We will discuss about types of hypothesis in later sections of this unit. Step 3 Research design that is appropriate needs to be selected. Based on the problem, the researcher needs to select suitable research design. Research design denotes structure of the research. As stated by Curlinger, 1995, page 280, research designs are invented to enable researchers to answer research questions as validly, objectively, accurately and economically as possible. 
Research designs not only help in obtaining answers to the research problem but also helps in variance control. That includes maximization of true variance, variance in independent variable leads to variance independent variable, and minimization of error variance, variance independent variable that can be attributed to extraneous variable. There are various types of research designs, for example, factorial DAIN, small n designs and so on that can be selected based on the requirement of the research and research problem, refer to table 1.1. In the example that we discussed under step 1 and 2, the research designs could be correlational design where an attempt is made to study the relationship between resilience, psychological well-being and adjustment amongst caregivers of chronically ill patients. Further, research could be qualitative or quantitative in nature or may employ a mixed approach.